Oh man, what is going on my fellow Fetty Tato Madoshis? Although I said in my last review that I believe that this chapter would end with Natsu and Zerub confronting each other, I thought about it and I was like, hmm, we wouldn't get that so soon, right? But no, here we are, Natsu unbandaging his arm and everything. Next chapter is going to go the fuck in, but how much do you want to bet we're going to get other characters going in and we'll get back to Xerath and Natsu a little bit later on, kind of how we got Igneo versus Acnologia and then we switched over to the other fairy tale members and the other demons and whatnot. That's what I think is going to happen here, but just with the emphasis on Natsu this entire chapter, like how Grey was like, you're really gonna let this dumbass do this alone and Urza was like, don't you believe in him and stuff like that and just seeing Natsu show off his powers and that roar though, that fucking roar or just disintegrating, incinerating the fucking ground like some DBZ Gallic gun shit. I'm like, damn. So, since this entire chapter was focused on Natsu, even the characters that weren't around Natsu, like with Urza and Grey, I truly believe we're finally going to figure out what's under that those bandages, at least. We may not get the actual fight, but we're going to get something epic from Natsu next chapter. I can feel it. And... Just that roar, man. Natsu never ceases to amaze. And he doesn't even look tired by the time he's there. So if he can let out a roar that's pretty much... I'm making some hate for this, but from what I can tell, almost on Igneal's status. And still be so confident to take down Xerath. Whatever's under those bandages has to be fucking amazing. This is the most hype that I've gotten for a fairy tale chapter in a while. I mean... Finally, Natsu confronting Zeref and then just Natsu's cocky attitude. He's like, yeah, 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 you want to meet me and all that. But I think it's time we say our goodbyes. I'm about to murder you, bitch. <laughs> Natsu, Dragnir for the m and and win. I cannot wait to see this fight. And we really have not gotten that many techniques, per se, from Zeref. We have not really seen him fight, fight. Like, we've seen things around him die. He's done a few things here and there, but we've never actually seen him go head to head with someone. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I damn sure don't remember if we did. So, to see Natsu's epic new abilities, like that roar he did this chapter and everything we've seen him do since the time skip, Zeref is going to have to at least be able to keep up with that. So what is the black magician Zeref going to pull out? Like this is the time we're finally going to see what Zeref can do. And I truly believe with that confrontation between Acnologia and Zeref, I think about like 10, maybe 20 chapters ago when we saw Acnologia in his human form, I think that we weren't shown that fight simply because Zeref is about to unveil his techniques against this fight with Natsu. I think that confrontation was skipped simply because it's that epic. Hopefully, I'm, you know, I'm kind of being optimistic, but hopefully his shit is just that epic that it just had to surprise us in this fight with Natsu coming up. But we all know what we really want to see. We want Natsu to figure out that he's trying to kill his brother. When he finds out that Zero is his brother, there's no telling how he's going to take it. I cannot wait for Natsu to find out that he's in, and I cannot wait for Grey to find out that Natsu is in. I mean, there's so much going on. There are so many potential confrontations coming up, and then, of course, actually, Acnologia is going to play some part, and I cannot wait to see what Natsu is going to do when he sees Acnologia again, because we all know that the A-Man took out Igneal in front of Natsu, so that's not going to go down easy with Natsu. Like, he's going to want to fucking murder Acnologia. Like, I, I really cannot wait. There's so many awesome matchups. We got Natsu versus Zerev. Like, a lot of emotional things that can happen during that fight, like with Natsu learning that he's in, Grey learning that he's in, and them being brothers and whatnot, and then maybe uh, Acnologia versus Natsu, or Natsu and Zera versus Acnologia. There's so many combinations, and Grey could be in any one of those fights also. Fuck, man. Fairy tale. This, the hype, man. I, you know, it may sound cheesy, but I'm fucking fired up right now. But like I said, I think maybe we'll get some hints or we'll actually see what's under those bandages on Natsu's arm. But I truly believe that we're going to go somewhere else first before 
the fight at least finishes. It may start, then it may switch over, but I don't think that we're going to have the entire fight right now because, I mean, the four kings of Ishgar are there. There are so many other guilds going in. So, of course, there's going to be a showcase of their power, like the four kings and the other guilds and, you know, a few other characters that we've been waiting to see in action before we get the final fight between Natsu and Zeref, the full fight anyway. Who knows how this is going to go down, but I am so fucking hyped, man. I may be fangirling a little bit too much in this review but hey can you blame me man Zeref and Natsu are face to face after all this time and Natsu is taken off man come on man you cannot tell me this shit was not dope as fuck but tell me what you guys think is going to happen next what is going to happen next chapter what's under those bandages man this has been JB Dutch yeah. like comment subscribe and I'm out